we're gonna go over here and see if we can get on this bull. The wind's at our back, just like we like. <laughs> Hear that? Okay, we're okay. Stop. Let's make a plan. The wind is good. He's coming trotting. I'm gonna shoot. That was a heck of a shot, wasn't it? Uh, well, we own him. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Uh, well, right in the heart, I think. Huh? Huh? Yeah, we got him. He's right here. Gosh dang it, Jay. It's uh, last morning of my hunt. It's been a real tough hunt. We spotted this bull over here, back over here, and Jay called him right up. Shot, shot a little low. I didn't, didn't range him. He, he got on me kind of fast. I didn't get to range him and shot him pretty low and he ran across this open park and I had to run around in front of him and got in front of him and he bedded down right at the edge of these trees and I slipped in and got another good shot and finally I made a good shot and yeah, I'm tickled to death. It's a, it's a, it's a you know, it's not a huge bull but Jay's been teasing me for the last two days if it's brown, it's down and 
didn't want to kill his Arizona average. Him and Dar have both killed their hunters. Have both killed some real big bulls this week. And Jay just came up, volunteered to come help me. And Jay calls elk real good. And I, so I said, you bet. I'd love to have your help. And I hated to kill their average. I might kill their net score average, but their success rate average is still 100%. And I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, no, I'm tickled to death. It's not, you know, a huge bull. But shoot, I hate to not, not shoot one. Yeah, he's a, he's a piece of work. Uh, yeah, he's kind of a cool elk. Uh, yeah, I was tickled to death with him. I, for the last morning, I've been here all week. I've got here a, a week ago, actually. Thursday, 10 days. I've been here for 10 days, and they're just not bugling. It's a, everybody you talk to in the, pretty much the whole state, but this unit for sure is, has been real tough. And Gosh dang it, we were tickled. This bull called a couple times. We saw him over there and snuck over to the edge of the trees, and Jay kind of put some pressure on me. If it's brown, it's down. So shoot, yeah, it was Jake gave a few cow calls, and he just came trotting over to us. And uh, yeah, I didn't make a real good shot on the first one, but yeah, we ended up getting him, so we're excited. We got long ways. It's like a, this is an enclosed area. There's no no driving, so we got a pretty long pack and kind of a uh, a big morning ahead of us. So we're gonna get to work. But Jay, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It was fun as always. I've, right on. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I've been on been on a lot of hunts with you. This is we don't get to elk hunt together a whole lot because you're usually busy and. Yeah. But we coos deer hunt a lot and yeah. Nice job. Yeah, no, I was tickled. Nice it was for the last morning for sure and uh, <clears throat> I got to fill your tag, go home to Colorado. You got a what, oh, yeah. forty five days of yeah. hunting to go, so we got a real good friend that was over there watching it. He just called me on the cell phone. He's been watching it over there unfold. He said, well, I might have a little bit of redneck in me, and I can't really argue with that. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, the rage. Dude, that was a lethal shot there, huh? Oh, you think he's a raghorn? No. Okay. I said he was a keeper. Jay, his thirds are going to kill a score, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you agree with that? Hmm. What you doing now? Huh. There's the two guys that were watching this, this whole thing unfold this morning. I can't wait to see their reaction when they pull up here. <laughs> see what they were a party of too. See what they were a party to. <laughs> <laughs> They're as guilty as we are. <laughs> I tell you who would be the most proud of us. Jimmy. Is your cousin Jimmy. <laughs> this was right up Jimmy's alley. Our elk packers. Congrats, man. Thanks. Thanks. That was awesome to was watch. That, <laughs> that was something. awesome to that watch. Was, it's got some rednecks duck in it, doesn't it? <laughs> Dude, you we like took a, off running. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and he uh, just took off, and I'm like, he can't jump that fence. He's too I did. That's why. Yeah. That's why I was trying to get there. Uh, there's well, no way he's gonna jump that fence. And then all of a sudden, he went over, and I'm like, uh oh. Really? Good hunt. Well, it's a real good hunt. Just nothing big. Josh, I'll be your neighbor and your bow packer. Thanks, buddy. J Bob, successful elk hunt. New Craig, Craig, our new friend Craig Benson came to the rescue to pack our elk for us. Yeah. What did you do? Tell me a story. I have no stories. I'm just eating a power bar. How come your hands are all bloody? Because I caved into peer pressure. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, like you didn't have anything to do with it? Josh, as my witness, was I getting some pressure? It's brown. It's <laughs> Josh, come on. Josh. <laughs> If it's brown, it's down. If it hops, it drops. If it flies, it dies. Oh, don't act like a saint over there, like you weren't all into it. I didn't have to twist your arm too very hard. I'm... No, I guess not. Whoa, get on over there, bucko. Jeez, about run us off the road. Will you stop, idiot, me while I'm eating? <laughs> 